So more PS5 reveals next week, the PlayStation 5 Pro Showcase and the State of Play Highlights Recap. These are the stories we're going to go over today and if you could hit that like button on the video, thank you to those that do it and as always, it's very much appreciated. First, from 1 to 10, what would you rate the state of play from yesterday? It seemed like most people didn't like that state of play as much yesterday, but for me personally, like I said on X, I liked several things as a fan of both VR and horror. My expectations were kind of set considering this was a state of play and not a PlayStation showcase, but that was just my situation. What about you? So comment below, from 1 to 10, what would you rate the state of play from yesterday? Let me know down in the comments below. Now, diving into the first story of the video, the State of Play Highlights Recap. So, I'm mainly going to focus on what I liked, but I'll have a link below if you want to check out the full list. So, first up is Concord. We finally got a trailer for Concord. And while I'm not a fan of hero shooters, I'm curious to see and play this game, especially considering there's a beta that goes uh, live in July. So, I'll fully see what this game is about. And the full game launches on August 23rd. After that, we have Dynasty Warriors Origins. Again, I'm not really the biggest fan of Dynasty Warriors, but it's nice to see another Dynasty Warriors game uh, on the way. It launches on PlayStation 5 in 2025. Next up, we have Ballad of Antara, which is an action RPG that I was originally interested in until I found out it was a free-to-play game. No longer really interested, but it launches in 2025. Then we have Where the Winds Meet, which is a game I've shown off on the channel before. It's now coming to PlayStation 5. Apparently, originally, it was a PC exclusive. It's an open-world RPG that is set in the Ten Kingdoms era during a battle between rival dynasties, where the player takes the role of a swordsman who will influence the conflict in different ways depending on their choices. So, that sounds interesting to me. PlayStation VR 2 fans also got love during this event with gameplay showcases for both Behemoth and Aliens Rogue Incursion. Also, both of these games will be launching this year. So, you know, PSVR fans, we're, we're eating this year. Uh, Behemoth is launching in the fall and Aliens is launching uh, this holiday. Add these to Metro VR and Zombie Army VR, and this year is looking pretty solid for PlayStation VR 2 fans. Next up, Until Dawn got another trailer and will be dropping this fall. Silent Hill 2 got another gameplay trailer and an extended gameplay trailer from the Silent Hill showcase that happened right after. And to me personally, to me, I've seen some opinions out there, but I'm excited to play this come October 8th, a perfect Halloween season game. And finally, we have the one that a lot of people got excited about, and that is the new Astrobot game that is much bigger than the demo that we got in 2020, which people already loved that one. This game has six galaxies to explore and over 80 levels to dive into. It drops this September 6th. The timing is interesting because the PlayStation 5 Pro is potentially set to be announced that month as well i wonder if this game has any references to the playstation 5 pro considering the playstation hardware the game showcases in the trailer we'll see how that goes and we're going to talk about it in a sec and if you're enjoying the video so far hit that subscribe button and join our growing community on our way to 150,000 subscribers Now, diving into the second story of the video, the PlayStation 5 Pro Showcase. So, this has come up pretty heavily yesterday, and I just wanted to share my thoughts on it here. The state of play, to me personally, as I already said, was good. It was decent. But Sony still definitely needs a big event this year, and that's clearly how everyone else felt after the state of play, because some people are putting heavy pressure on Sony now to have an amazing PlayStation Showcase later this year. There's no excuse not to. At this point, your studios have been quiet for uh, upwards of like five years by the time the showcase happens. But focusing on that, the PS4 Pro reveal happened on September 7th, 2016. Isn't that date interesting now at this point? Astrobot releases on September 6th, 2024. The time frame seems close and I'd be surprised if this new Astrobot game doesn't include hardware mentions for the PlayStation 5 Pro like it does for every other piece of PlayStation hardware since the dawn of PlayStation. I wonder if the PlayStation 5 Pro will be revealed days before this game releases like maybe September 4th, 2024. We'll get the reveal for the PlayStation 5 Pro and then the console launches in November 
remember like the PS4 Pro did. While you wait, maybe you'll check out Astrobot and you'll see mentions of the PlayStation uh, 5 Pro there. I'm really curious to see if it plays out like this because I, I, I feel... It would be surprising if Astrobot doesn't include mentions for the PlayStation 5 Pro and that thing actually launches this year. Hopefully the event is later this year and it has big reveals as well to get people excited to play on the PlayStation 5 Pro. You got to do that uh, to see its benefits for the games we have now and the games set to come in the future. We'll see how that goes. Of course, I'm excited. Hopefully we do get a big proper showcase and, you know... Kudos to me if it actually plays out like how I'm describing this video. But you guys let me know if you think the PlayStation 5 Pro will be revealed before Astrobot launches or not. Let me know down in the comments below. And now diving into the final story of the video, more PlayStation 5 reveals next week. Reading from PlayStation Universe, industry leaker Midori has claimed that Summer Games Fest will play host to more game announcements regarding PlayStation Studios titles, despite Sony having only hosted its latest State of Play yesterday evening. While State of Play revealed updates on a number of upcoming PlayStation 5 and PlayStation VR 2 games planned for the rest of the year, this isn't the last we'll hear of new Sony Interactive Entertainment titles. Writing on X, Midori, who has a very solid track record with this sort of thing, commented, Please look forward to more information on Metaphor Refantasio and Sonic X Shadow Generations at Summer Games Fest next week, and more titles from Sony Interactive Entertainment Studios too. So... This is potentially exciting. We know that PlayStation is going to be at Summer Games Fest. We are, we're not aware what they would actually reveal over there, but they could very well reveal some of the titles we didn't see at the State of Play. For example, everyone was, was expecting LEGO Horizon to be at the State of Play. That could possibly be at Summer Games Fest next week. And if they do end up revealing it over there, I don't know why Sony doesn't just reveal some of these games at their own State of Play event where they have all the attention focused on them. Maybe they believe Summer Games Fest has some value in terms of market reach and maybe they want LEGO Horizon to be over there. Maybe it would be a good game that they would want to reach the most amount of people and maybe Summer Games Fest is that spot to do that. We'll see how that goes. The other potential announcement people are hoping for is again Spider-Man 2 DLC which people were hoping to see at the State of Play. If that's actually happening you would think they would have to announce it at Summer Games Fest at this point unless they're really not going to do DLC. We'll see how that goes as well. Summer Games Fest goes live next Friday, so not much longer to wait. But you guys let me know what PlayStation announcements you want to see at Summer Games Fest. Let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please hit that like button as it always helps. And subscribe if you're new. I got new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And now, I'll check you guys out on the next one. And welcome back to the after show. This is the part of the video where we have a little fun down in the comments below. If you're old, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. For today's thing, what I want you guys to do is to body, obliterate, destroy, and overall harass the comments section with new week, new reveals. Obviously, I'm talking about Summer Games Fest next week. I'm excited to see what we get, especially now that we're potentially hearing that there's going to be more PlayStation reveals next week. I'm excited. If you are as well, destroy the comment section with a new week, new reveals, and I'll definitely heart those comments like I always do because I appreciate everybody who stays at the end of my videos and now I'll check you guys out on the next one.